Hey guys, I've uh, seen some posts lately on uh, asking everybody what tools they take when they go uh, camping in their RV. I thought I would put a little video together of the stuff that I take with me. So in no particular order, this is what I take. Uh, a set of hex keys, a set of vice grips, and a hammer, wire cutters, some needle nose pliers, some nine inch pliers, and some water pipe pliers. I take a little uh, hacksaw, my gloves, a um, tape measure and a hammer, a cold chisel and a pry bar, my LED headlamp. These are wire cutting um, scissors. I have a Phillips head and a flat screwdriver. I have another set of Phillips and flat. These are for little tiny screws. Uh, I've got my electrical uh, tester, another electrical tester here, and my wire strippers. Um, I also carry a pair of regular scissors, a spare set of light bulbs, uh, I carry a full set of spare keys for anything in the camper that requires a key, whether it's a door, a hatch, a padlock, whatever. Um, various tape, I've got some Velcro, electrical tape, VHB tape, duct tape, Teflon tape for both plumbing and for gas. Uh, I've got some drill bits, some screwdriver tips, some nut drivers, um, zip ties, some more different uh, screwdriver tips, uh, clamps some batteries, some little bungees. Uh, I've got some uh, Sharpies and my uh, wire tester. I also have my multimeter, I already said it clamps. Uh, some JB Weld, a little flashlight. I also have caulk, WD-40, Vulcan 116, fix a flat, black spray paint. I carry two two foot lengths of PEX. I've got my rivet gun. Uh, this gun is for doing grommets. Got a torque wrench. This is for doing snaps. Um, these two tools are for my pecs, my cutter, and my crimper. Uh, this guy here is my battery charger. I can pretty much charge a dead battery back to full. A little butane torch I use with my heat shrink. This tool here, instead of carrying jumper cables, this is great. I can actually jump start a car, a dead battery in a car if I need to jump myself or somebody else. It's all self-contained, a couple of rags, some spare 16 gauge, um, four conductor and two conductor wire, uh, my, my screw gun, or another drill, and my charger. And then this little container contains uh, self-tapping screws, sheetrock screws, rivets, grommets, snaps, heat shrink. And then on the other side, we've got uh, various PEX fittings and clamps, uh, hose clamps, different wire connectors, wire nuts, uh, lots of fuses, some razor blades, and then I don't think I mentioned it earlier, but I also have a um, Smittybilt 2781, I think is the model, um, air compressor. Um, I swapped out all the Japanese fittings for quarter inch NPT fittings. I swapped out the inflator for one that has a nicer gauge and I can control the airflow and deflate. And I put in a new 60 foot air hose. So that, I think I caught everything, is the stuff we take with us. Um, a lot of it fits in this little toolbox. The other bigger stuff like the compressor and some of this other bigger stuff um, fits in a bin and it all rides in the back of the truck. So that is it folks. Uh, let me know if I miss something. I'll gladly add to my uh, toolkit. Bye now.